The pandemic, a lot of Americans discovered the ease of getting groceries delivered straight to their doorstep. But there's one item South Carolinians cannot put in their carts when they buy online, alcohol. State reporter Mary, Mary Green explains how new legislation could change that. A bill moving through the state Senate right now would allow for the delivery and curbside pickup of alcohol. The latter was temporarily allowed during the earlier part of the pandemic through an emergency order issued by Governor McMaster, but it's no longer permitted. This bill provides needed modernization of the state's alcohol laws to simply update the way that consumers can choose to receive their alcohol products to match shopping preferences and methods available for other products. That bill would let people order beer, wine and liquor for curbside pickup or delivery directly through the retailer or through a third party service like DoorDash. That company says in other states where this is already legal, it prohibits delivery to intoxicated people and requires they show their ID upon delivery and when ordering. Those would also be required under this bill. You must upload a, a visual of your ID, scan it into the system, both the front and the back. That's actually verified by a third party um, digital technology services that bumps it up against the state driver's license databases across the country. Another bill would allow people 21 and older to order alcohol at bars and restaurants past TSA security at five South Carolina airports and then drink them anywhere in the terminal. Have other states done this? I don't think I've ever seen anyone having a drink outside of a, the actual bar in a restaurant anywhere in, I've ever been. I don't know that I necessarily have seen that either, Senator, but I've, I've seen a lot of cramped restaurants. One last Senate bill would impose a training and certification requirement for anyone who serves alcohol in the state, an estimated 32,000 people. While advocates argue this legislation could save lives, others worry the fees to receive that training and certificate could be too high. I do have some pretty serious concerns about erecting a barrier to entry into an occupation that is otherwise um, you know, an early rung on the economic ladder for a lot of people. The airport bill is currently awaiting a debate on the Senate floor, while the other two pieces of legislation are a step behind and are now under a committee's consideration. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green.